Hi, welcome to Curvy Berta. Today I'm going over my top five foundations. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. So there are three very naughty kittens in the room with me today. So we'll see if I can get through this without being attacked, having my lighting or my camera destroyed or having someone run off with one of my foundations. So we'll see how it goes. So number five in my foundation countdown is the Tarte Double Duty Foundation. This is a, let's see, what do they say it is? It is not waterproof. It has no SPF in it. I love the coverage that this gives me. I have it in 22N, light natural. Um, this is really nice. I received a sample of this in, a, um, in an order that I did at Sephora and I liked it enough to order it. So I used the sample and I liked it enough to order a full size and that says a lot. Um, so it's the double duty beauty it has a pump so I, I always i put it on the back of my hand and then apply it with my sponge i probably waste more product than i need to but that's the way i like to apply it um this has full it does have pretty decent coverage i would call it medium coverage i wouldn't call it full coverage it's a it's a good medium coverage I don't sweat it off. It lasts all day. It gives me what I want. Covers up my, um, evens out my tone with redness, evens out my little spots, my sunspots and my freckles along my hairline. Those are pretty much covered with this. Um, I do still see the mole. I do still see a few things that I have that aren't covered. That's why I'm calling it um, medium coverage. But it, it does last. The only complaint I have with this as they're disappearing off my table is that it doesn't have any SPF in it. So that adds another layer of um, another step in my routine because I have to add SPF on. So Tarte Double Duty Beauty um, Foundation. My number four foundation choice is the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation Full Coverage Matte Finish, and this is in the color um, 10, no, in the shade 2.5. Um, besides the fact that the container is just gorgeous and it could sit on my shelf and I would be really happy with that, it is a really nice product. I this this very well would be my number one if it had SPF in it. I don't like extra steps and I have to take an extra step with this. So yeah. Otherwise this would be number one. This is a fantastic foundation. It doesn't sink into my wrinkles. It doesn't seep in. It doesn't um, settle into my pores. It doesn't um, enhance my number one or my wrinkles across my forehead. It really is full coverage. It really does a great job and it's waterproof. So it's great for those days at the beach or if you're going to be sweating. It's a great um, foundation to use on those days. It just doesn't have the SPF. It's got great coverage. It goes on like a dream. It's not streaky. It, it, I put it on with my sponge and then I brush it in with a face brush, um, like a, a, yeah, a face brush and, um, to get any spots out. And I do that with all of my foundation and it just, it looks beautiful. It's absolutely lovely. It's a nice matte finish. It doesn't have any shine to it. I'm not a big fan of shine. I add my shine where I want it with my highlighter. Um, I don't want to be shiny and dewy looking all day. So I like this. It's a good one. My number three foundation is Tarte. It's in a medium uh, shade. The shade is medium. It is the Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. This has an SPF of 20 in it. 20 is nice. It's not enough. I will put an SPF um, on with this. A good way, you can use an SPF under 
your everything. Um, but if you don't let it dry long enough, it'll pill up as you're putting your layers on. If you have that problem, one of the cheater ways that I found that was actually, I saw it on another video. And if I can think of the video, I will link it below. But I can't remember who whose video I saw it on. If anyone can tell me in the comments, please let me know and I will link that video. But the Neutrogena spray tan uh, uh, sunscreen for face, the spray, it's like a setting spray with SPF in it. It's SPF 50. So if you're um, if your foundation doesn't have SPF in it and you've done your face and you realize you're going to be out in the sun all day or out doing something and you want SPF, just throw some of that Neutrogena um, facial SPF uh, sunscreen on in the spray. Um, yeah, like you guys needed me to make the spraying sound. Sorry about that. It makes a good setting spray and it gives you some SPF boost. So I do that when I use this one. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer, so it's more of a light coverage. This is one when I, I use when I want to be a little bit more natural for the day, a little bit less full coverage, a little more of a natural look. I go for this one. I really like it. It it doesn't settle into my fine lines. It goes on like a dream. I don't have to fight with it for coverage. Um, it just, it looks good and it's, it doesn't dry out my skin and I don't get any breakouts with it. So I really like it. It's got a little bit of SPF in it. Um, not enough for me, but I like it. It's in, uh, medium is the shade. It's just called medium and yeah. So that's what it looks like. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer moisturizer with SPF sunscreen. My number two is a num another Urban Decay product. This one also doesn't have SPF in it, but I like it better than the All Nighter. Um, it's 24 hour hydration. It is the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator Medium Coverage up to 24 hour wear. So it's just a little bit more of a natural look. It doesn't have anything glowy in it. Um, I have this in the number in the shade 30 light. Um, it is a little light on me for summer. I have a darker shade. I believe I have the 40, um, which is a darker shade. And I like that for as we're getting into the summer months or when I have more of a tan. This is a pretty light, pretty light shade, but it, it suits me. Um, it's a, a more liquidy foundation, goes on really smooth, goes on really easy. It's like medium coverage, no SPF in this. So I'll use the Neutrogena spray over the top or an SPF base. If I have more time, I prefer to put my SPF on the bottom. So it's closest to my skin. If I don't have a lot of time to wait for that to dry, that's the thing. You put the SPF cream on underneath and you really have to wait for it to dry for like a good solid 10 minutes um, before you put your foundation on over the top. Otherwise, as you're rubbing your foundation in or smoothing your foundation on, it'll pill. It'll react with the SPF. So if I have the time, I'll do that. I'll put my SPF on. I'll go do something else. I'll come back and I'll do the rest of my makeup. If I don't, then I use the Neutrogena Facial Spray Sunscreen over the top. And that provides my SPF um, and gives me a little bit of a, of, a, of a finish, of a setting finish. But this is a fantastic foundation. It's very smooth. Like I said, it's, it's liqui liquidier. It has a... Um, it just has a little spout on top and you just squeeze out what you want, which is nice because then you can get all of it out of the tube and it goes on really well, does not settle into anything. It covers medium coverage. So it, I use um, con concealer and I, I do fine. I love this stuff. It wears nicely. It's still there at the end of the day. It's not settled into my pores. It's not settled into my lines. Then I got the lines and the pores. I'm getting old socks. This helps. 
So it doesn't settle into everything and it wears really well throughout the day. So I do like this. Again, it's the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator in medium coverage, up to 24 hour wear, and my color is 30. And at number one, it Cosmetics CC Cream, your skin but better, color correcting, full coverage cream, anti-aging, hydrating serum, and broad spectrum SPF 50. That's a lot in this little tube. And it shows. This is like my holy grail foundation. I use, as you can see, it, how sucked in this thing is. It's almost empty. Um, Ulta had a sale at the big, at, in the spring and I got like three more of these because I love it. It has a shelf life. The little thing says 12 months once you open it. This is going to last about three if you're using it every day. It is amazing. Amazing. I love it. I'm under attack. I absolutely love it. It goes on like a dream. It's full coverage. It's my friend is here again. He's going to eat my plant. That's not your salad bar, pal. It's bigger than you. Go play. So it goes on like a dream. It doesn't settle into my lines. It does. It covers my dark spots. It covers everything. It's it's beautiful. It doesn't settle into my pores. Um, at the end of the day, it'll settle a little into the pores on my nose if I don't use the pore blurring um, primer. I tend to use that every day just because my pores in my nose for some reason are huge these days. And so I, it's me. It's not, it's not this. It's me because it wasn't doing it and now it is. So um, with the pore smooth blurring primer that I use, I don't have any problems with it settling into my pores. So, um, but it's beautiful. It, it's, it's got a pump, a little pump, and that goes onto the back of my hand, put it on, and I'm good to go. It stays, it lasts, it, it's, it's a dream. Again, it is called the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum and Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I can't fit anything else in here. It's awesome. Get you some. So those are to my top five foundations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like a foundation that I didn't mention, please comment below and tell me what you use because I would love to try some new things and find some new favorites. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. I upload at least one video a week, a lot of fashion hauls, vlogs, makeup, um, and I'm working on my skincare routine. So stay tuned for that. Have a fantastic week and I will see you soon.